how to create an account in USGS Earth Explorer. First of all, go to your browser and search USGS Earth Explorer. Then click on this first link which is earthexplorer.usgs.gov. Here as you can see there are three options. So just click on login. Once you'll create your account, you will be able to sign in. Firstly, scroll down and then click on create new account. Just read the username requirements and password requirements to create your username and password. So firstly, you'll need to create your username, which should be between 4 and 30 characters. And keep your password as alphanumeric. Then continue. Then this is the question, in what sector do you work? So if you're a student, then just select that or any other option from here like academic institution so i'll just select other and i'll write here student which of the following characterizes you as a user of remotely sensed data from usgs so it's like what are you you are a data provider and user product developer manager technical user apply data or products derived from the data to accomplish my work including scientific research and education so I'll just select this like I'm the end user and if anything you're not able to select from here then you can specify in other. Does your work use remotely sensed data from the USGS? Then you can keep it as no or you can keep it as yes. So I'm keeping it as yes because at times we need the remotely sensed data. Of your work that uses remotely sensed data from USGS, what percentage is operational and non-operational? So here it is explained very clearly that the operational work is defined as continuous or ongoing work that either relies on the consistent availability of remotely sensed data or is mandated or required, for example, crop reports or monitoring. And non-operational work is just for the one-time projects. So you can keep this as like 40%, 50%. That depends on you. And what is the primary application for which you have used the remotely sensed data from the USGS in the past year? Then you can select any of the reasons. Like here, I'll just select water resources. There are many options you can select as per your requirement. In addition to the primary application, in what areas have you used remotely sensed data? Then here, I'll keep it as I have not used in other areas. If you wish, you can select any of the options like transportation, urbanization, public health. And even if there is other application, you can write over here. Over the next year, approximately how much of the remotely sensed data you acquire from USGS will use distribute to others to use as opposed to using it yourself. Then I'm keeping it as none of the data that I'll not distribute any of the data to others. Over the next year, how important will free and open access to remotely sensed data from USGS be to conducting your work? Then it will be very important. Next is continue to contact information. So just click that. Give your first name, last name and company or organization. If you're working in any company, then you can mention it over here. Or if you're a student, then you can write your institute name. Then give your address one, address two, select your country, city, Enter your state name and postal code, then write your email ID, give a correct email ID, retype that email ID, this alternative email and telephone and fax is not needed, then just click on save contact information. 
and you will also have to provide your contact number and once you will click on save contact information a new page will open where you can see your information that you have provided like your username your address email id contact number and this demographic information then just click on submit registration then after the next step is you will have to go to your email and check your inbox or your spam folder where you would have received an email from usgs so this is the email that i have received then just click on the link to activate your account again enter your username and then click on submit then after you can easily sign in using your username and password in your usgs or explorer account thank you